What is up, my fellow Leos? Leo, someone rising in Venus. I almost said cancer, but I just did cancer. So if you have any of those areas to cancer placement, go check those out. Appreciate the love and support. However, Leo, what is going on with that person? Think about that person. We're going to see how they feel about you right now, all right? Let's see what they got going on for you, baby. What's going on with my Leo? Someone rising in Venus. Oh. Too many cards came out. This is the only one that came face up. And the card that went face down is the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords here. So, they definitely see the truth. I feel like this person is finally accepting it and coming forward towards you with some communication, possibly a love offer. Or this is you showing some interest, interest into this person and sparking something up. What's going down though? What's up with that Knight of Pentacles? See what's going down, son. Hold on. Bah! Oh, two of wands. I feel like this is you or them. If this this is, might be you. Because they're coming to you, finally seeing the clarity, and you are just looking at them like, what's up? You going to come correct? If not, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep looking in the beautiful, abundant world. And you ain't going to stick around. But some of y'all feel like that had to be said. Hold on, though. Let's, let's dig a little deep. What's this two of wands about? Hold up. I saw that. What's going down? Oh. Four of pentacles. Wait, no. Five of pentacles. My bad, y'all. Five of pentacles. Debbie Downer, soulmate, trying to bring you back. And you're trying to walk forward and walk away. So I feel like, yeah, you're looking at them like, uh-uh. I'm, I'm not falling for this shit. That's where that came from. That part. Mm-hmm. I see you now. I see you, Leo. I see you. Maybe that's what you didn't want to accept. That this person was somewhat of a contract from the past. Karmic, whatever, soulmate, twin flame, love offer that you're finally closing out and you're being tested. I feel like you're passing that test. You're holding the line. Shining bright, being the star. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles as well, top of the deck. Three of Cups. Interesting here. So you're definitely breaking free from this to step into a new celebration of self. Elevation and a new potential interest of a different contract coming in. Yeah, staying page one. Look in the horizon. You got plenty of opportunities ahead. That is beautiful. I like to see that for you, Leo. Okay, what's the spiritual advice though? Spiritual advice for Leo right here. What's going down? Hold on. Whoops. What's going on with my Leos for the spiritual advice? What does Leo need to hear? Queen of Sword, you better tap into your true, raw, un unapologetic, authentic, star self, Leo energy. Who gives a fuck? They might hate you. They may judge you for who you are, but that don't matter. You better hold the motherfucking line and stand of integrity, firm, strong, and believing that you are the fucking star. Because, Leo, you are the star, literally. Knowing your worth, owning that shit, and don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Son, put the deck here. Don't be indecisive. I feel like this is more tapping into getting out of that indecisive energy and having a direction and a call forward of that Ace of Cups here. Let's put that little deck to justice. Ooh, shit. So you're definitely finally getting something justice on for that cup energy. And I feel like you're stepping into a lot of opportunities, even career and finance-wise, of just... Owning your worth and value and bringing more than ever to the table with your fuel, with your heart, with your soul, with your fire, and just tapping more into different avenues of experiencing that abundance, honestly. Hold on. One last card, though. I know we said spiritual advice, but what's the next spiritual advice on this Queen of Swords? Let's get a little more so it's not too short of a video. Too many cards came out. Hold on. Whoa. Wow. King of Swords and the Five of Wands. I feel like there's going to be people coming at you sideways trying to test you and you ain't going to fucking tolerate that shit. You better stand firm. Anybody who's trying to sneak this, you, friends, family, third party, whatever it may be, do not mm -mm, hold that line. You better cut through that shit sharp and precise, okay? Because this is what you're seven into.
Don't forget that part. What's the hidden oracle truth from this person? What's going on here? Is Debbie Downer still made trying to hold Leo back from living the beautiful star life? Hmm. Card that fell. You and I were too young. Uh-uh. I mean, we ain't letting that slide, though. Bottom of the deck. I regret lying to you. Yeah. Don't blame age because you lied. You flunked out trying to do some dumb shit. Mm-mm. Don't do that, shorty. Mm-mm. I keep saying flunked out because of Dolo. But shit. <laughs> Don't be doing that. <laughs> What's going on here, though? One last part. Ooh, hello. But they still love you, huh? Mm -mm. That's some toxic, unconditional love. That's some toxic ass shit. Don't even fall for that shit. Wow, it even came back out again. I love you, had ass. Nah, bro. Uh uh, that's some toxic energy. I don't even want to go deeper than that. I don't even. Mm -mm. No. 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 We're not doing that today, Leo. Nope. We're not do that. <laughs> Don't fall for the trap. However, that's all I have for Leo. I'll see you in the next video. On to Virgo. See you. Stay blessed.